Hi, this is Nora from Dr. Apple Plants. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to show you a little flip of what has been going on in my A5 agenda. This is a Filofax Chester. It has 15 millimeter rings and a very durable leather on the outside. I like it because it's very portable but yet spacious because of course the A5 inserts fit in here. However, my main planner at the moment that is not for work is my MM. This is from Louis Vuitton in the monogram design. I keep this one at home and it houses like all the important things that I need to know to make sure that I can run my home and work life efficiently. Okay, so I'm going to start this flip and I also want to let you know that I'm going to do a little small unboxing of an order that I placed with Infinite Lotus. That is one of my favorite shops for inserts and other planner goodies. Um, in that order, there will be um, two sets of inserts that I am going to replace that I currently have in this A5 agenda um, because I feel those are going to work a little bit better for me. And I will show you that um, unboxing towards the end of this after I do this flip, okay, just to kind of show you um, kind of what's been going on. Well, originally I wanted to use the matching uh, monogram and the GM, which is the A5 um, ring agenda from Louis Vuitton, but it ended up being a little bit too large. And for a week or so, I switched into my Hobonichi Weeks for work, but that ended up being a little bit too small and I felt a little bit cramped in there. And I really missed um, rings and the space that, in particularly, the A5 offers, A5 inserts offer. And I felt that the Filofax Chester was an excellent compromise for that, meaning portability, but yet having space. So I will go um, and just show you briefly some of the things that I have and the sections that I have in my um, agenda here. Um, in these pockets, I wanted to keep them very minimal so it focuses on my work, of course, um, and things I need to get done. I do teach in higher ed, and I just wanted something very simple, very um, professional that I can take to work. So I have these cards here, all from Infinite Lotus, um, that I can take out specifically to like, make appointments or anything like that. I wanted to keep the, um, all the deco very simple, so I didn't put much um you know much here i just wanted to put this right here with a little monthly card and that was it i didn't want to put anything else that would be too distracting this is an agenda that i keep like have um like i clean it like meaning in the sense that i go through it to make sure that if there are any extra papers or anything that i have put in here that i take them out and i put them where they belong instead of having my agenda stuffed this agenda does not have a pocket or anything in the back um it just has these two um pockets right here and of course these other smaller ones so I'm going to start the flip and the first thing you're going to notice is um, my tabs right here on the side and these tabs are also from Infinite Lotus. They are very, very thin. I love that they stick out just the right um, way. Um, they're not too um, big or anything like that. I love how tastefully done um, these were all created. They're thin, very durable, and they don't take a lot of space in your planner. So first up, I did want something that made me feel like it was my planner. So I do have this from Infinite Lotus with my initials. You can do this as well and make this a custom for yourself. And I put Dr. Owl Plans, which is my handle over in Instagram and my YouTube name and my name up there. So I'm just going to flip through um, the first section here. I decided to just put a yearly view. This is a vellum also from Infinite Lotus. And this is just kind of like, um, you know, a yearly at a glance that I can refer to. And then my next section here, it would includes my monthly view. I decided to just keep one monthly view at a time. And while I do enjoy how spacious this is, I do realize that this is like a replica of what I have in my personal rings. And so with that said, I found an insert that will substitute this uh, monthly view while, while it's absolutely beautiful. And I love that it's a month on two pages. I feel that the other inserts that I purchased that I'm going to show you um, towards the end of the video um, will replace these a little bit, um, a little bit more efficiently for me and will be quicker for me to fill out a monthly view. So stay just, you know, in a couple of minutes, I'll show you what inserts I am going to use instead of these. I am currently keeping just my September view here. And these are also from Infinite Lotus. Okay, moving on to my next section here. This is um, where I am doing my weekly planning. These are the Infinite, Infinite Lotus um, weekly on one page. I only do weekly planning in here. In fact, I haven't really been doing a lot of daily planning, whether in my personal rings or here in the A5. 
And so I've been just, you know, planning my weeks there very happily. I do have this little um, page marker, uh, which is a little ruler, very thin, again, from that same material from the tabs. And then my next section, I'm only going to leave this, I'm leaving this just this top one on purpose um, because I do have some sensitive information that I want to make sure that is not shown because this is the section where I write um, any kind of notes on specifically like if my students are doing a presentation or anything that's to do with grading or feedback that I have to give students from an essay. So I write them in this section that I don't want to show um, in depth. I just want to show you that these are the inserts that are in there. However, I've noticed that while lines are great, I have really gotten accustomed to a grid. So I'll show you the inserts that I'm going to use to replace these actually moving forward. And then my next section is um, my meeting notes. Again, I, um, I hid the ones that I used and I wanted to just show you a blank one. And I've been using these and they've worked out really well. And as I've been writing in these and using the grid that's when i realized like i really do miss a grid so i did get some inserts and you'll see them in the unboxing for that other section i just showed you to replace the lined um pages here the lined inserts for a grid one and so i've been enjoying myself so far doing this this has been absolutely wonderful and then my last section um it's just consists of a calendar for work you can kind of see it like kind of peeking through that i wanted to keep there in the back on purpose and I'm not going to show it, but just know that that's just my last section. This is um, something that I printed from my job. So this is my academic um, year in there. Okay, so I'm going to just turn this to show you this last piece here, which is just, um, I'm using this as a page lifter. It's the inboxes I know are usually supposed to go in the beginning, but because these are 15 millimeter rings, um, they're really thin or they're really small. And so the normal page lifter I would have used um, was actually not turning very well. But I found out that this one worked very well, so I've been using this one here. And here I just put some posts, some sticky notes from also Infinite Lotus to just, um, you know, write any notes and what that, whatnot. So I kind of have my um, inbox section in the end, but I don't mind. You do get um, some a nice um, big pocket here with a zipper pocket as well. Um, so I haven't had the need to use it at the moment. I've been just fine with um, what I have here. But if I know that I need to stick other items in here, I can definitely do so. Okay. So that concludes the brief walkthrough of my um, uh, inserts in my IE5 agenda. And this might be very similar to a previous video that I showed when I was trying to set up my A5 um, GM in the monogram for work. All right, so let me get my order up here. And the first items you receive are just these thank you cards um, and just your monthly view of October. And if you want to fill out that you are the owner of the planner, you can definitely do that. And as you know, there might be a glare because there's packaging here. So I'm going to try to remove this here. I did place the A5 inserts on top just to, um, you know, I can show them to you immediately what I have. So I'm going to put this on the side and the first two items I needed to restock were my sticky notes and the sticky notes I showed them to you in the very end here so this is where I'm putting them and the nice thing about these and I'll open one of them this is the gray grid and this is the white grid and you receive two of them which I really appreciate that as I do go through them a lot these are the main ones I love how minimal and how professional that they they are and they're just really up my alley so these are the there are two of them in the gray and two of them that come in the same package in the white. And you, and I would just keep, you know, replacing them there as I use them up. Okay, so here is the next um, item that I ordered. This here is in, in the A5 size because I wanted to show you first the A5 items. And this is something I plan on implementing immediately. As I showed you in my second section here, I do have a monthly view and I stated how this um seems kind of like a replica to what's going on in here and i'll briefly just show you what this looks like just so that you can kind of get an idea here is the month of september and see they're pretty much the same just a smaller version okay and it is this is a month also on two pages i kind of felt like I was tired of using up a lot of stickers just to kind of pretty much replicate what I had here into this planner. So then I realized that I could use these. Okay, so this is a horizontal view of your month. 
And you can use this in several ways. This could function as a future log. And in my case, I'm going to use this to just write down all these items without having to use all of these little stickers or anything or these um, icons, I should say, or any of these um, clear dot stickers or this one's in the, in the gray and in the pink. But the point is that I will not have to worry about using up all these other stickers and then I can just reserve them for my personal rings. Instead, here I will have um, a view which is at a quick glance. I love how... For example, for me, that I am not always working all year long. I do have breaks in between. And specifically, if I decide to take a summer off, I don't need a monthly view for work, um, you know, to rewrite that in, for an A5 size. If I'm done in May, right, um, June, July, I don't have to plan until I go back at the end of August, I mean, for the monthly view. So with that in mind, I love that these are not dated. You select your month, and if you want to write something there for info, then you can do so. And it do they do go up to 31 days, all of them, to accommodate, you know, whether the, the month goes up to 31 days or 28, whatever it may be, right? And so I'm really excited um, to use these, however. And I also like the fact that they're on one page. So instead of having, like, two pages, um, one month on one page, I will have it on one page. And it's not going... I know the information will actually be the same, but the time... I'm using into writing on these, it's going to be much less than going through here, selecting the right icon, making sure that the, the um, gray dot stands for my family and the pink dot stands for me. Okay. So, and then, like I said, finding the right um, icon and spending more money because I need to make sure I have enough icons for both view, both views. And I felt that was very it just wasn't the best use of um, my time or my um my supplies my stickers and but this i just my plan is just to literally just write things down here and that is it just like a list format and i think this is going to work the best for uh my purposes and that way i can just look at it at a glance and if i do need to see um a monthly view i did show you that i have the yearly here that i can just refer to okay so i'm going to implement this plan immediately i am very excited about it and um, i think it's going to work out well and i will finally have that I, that balance that i don't feel that i'm du making a duplicate an exact duplicate of my monthly in my personal size rings and then in my a5 okay so that is the first insert that i got and as i prefaced earlier i have these lined um, notes pages that for some reason I mean I write in them but I've gotten so used to a grid that I really felt it was time to just commit to a grid um, I like these grids because they are not super tiny so you'll have enough space to write on here and they're going to serve me in the same way that, they, that these served me where I'm going to write student feedback on their on their essays or presentations or whatever other assignments or just notes I need to make for myself with um, any kind of student performance etc right so these will go in here immediately as well. I'm so excited. I love that the grid is not very dark. It's just right. Likewise, these are these lines are not very dark either. Okay, so that is the second um, insert that or set of inserts that I'm going to use to replace um, the, the second set here. First was the monthly one and now for the grid one. All right, so that actually concludes what I ordered for the A5 rings. So that way I will have... Um, like I said, it's going to fit more of the aesthetics that I've been leaning towards and my I can ensure that my work planner is very, very minimal, minimal and just really focused on what I need to do at work. Okay, the next items I'll show you are in personal size. <laughs> so I did decide to order one like this as well in the personal size just to kind of give it a go. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not sure. Uh, I felt like well if I have I love these now you're asking yourself well then you're just going to repeat the same thing here but actually for this one I'm well one I could use them I was thinking for birthdays okay to just write down names for birthdays that's one another um use I was thinking I could use these in my personal rings could be as a future log so when something comes up I can just put it in there okay but nothing has been finalized at the moment and when I do implement this and if I do implement these it will not be until 2023. I love that they're not dated so I felt let me have these just in case. So 
but honestly i'm leaning more towards writing birthdays here i like that the line goes all the way and i can easily fit a couple names if need be there you know because sometimes they overlap i am currently using this insert for birthdays i'm going to briefly show it to you just to kind of keep it um as um here it goes this one here just kind of show you that real quick um i do have friends birthdays on there and i mean there is enough lines on there but i really do like this format but i'm still like i said thinking about this and how that's going to um work out so that is the one set of inserts that i purchased and the other one are actually tabs as i previously stated in this video i absolutely love the infinite lotus um tabs they're super smooth material um very lightweight very thin very durable though excellent quality and i went ahead and i ordered these here so for 2023 i'm honestly still debating and i'm not gonna lie to you i've made several purchases of different monthly views i made one for one month uh, for a month on one page i've made one for um a month on two pages and and now I have this, right? So I have a couple options because, and sometimes I am the type that maybe for a season, um, the month on two pages works, and then I want to jump back into the month on one page. And I've tried to stay um, as um, consistent as possible. This year, I've been very successful with, um, because I do have everything on a month on um, two pages. I have the entire year on, on the same type of insert. But next year, I really need to make a decision for 2023 um, between these choices. Now, last year, I did the same thing. I ordered a month on one page. I ordered the month on two pages. Yes. So I'm kind of repeating that this year, um, and I'm, I'll see how it works out. Either way, though, I wanted to have these tabs that are the monthly tabs in that same material that I love, okay, that's really thin. Um, I do have some options for these. Obviously, I can put them in my planner in here however i do have several tabs in here in fact this one has top tabs here on the top as well as side tabs but uh, i was thinking since i what i do is i try to keep the current three months in here top so that it doesn't get too bulky in here and then afterwards i archive it in an extra um ring planner an extra agenda that i have and that's where i was thinking about putting those in here in there and or else maybe if I do decide to go with the month on two pages, these would easily fit in here. So for example, I currently have, I could do this at this moment because I currently do have this here. Let me just go back over here. I have one month on two pages, so I could easily slip that in here. Or if I want to, I'd probably prefer to just put it in here. So yeah that would look really nice and then i would have everything you know lined up there at least for three months at a time and then i can put the remaining ones in that other um extra agenda where i archive all the previous months because here for example since we are in september i only have the month of september i do, did keep october november and december in here as well just so that i have the um entire year okay so those are some options with these i think all the items that i purchased will give me some flexibility as i navigate what's going to work best for me okay so that concludes my unboxing and a little update on my a5 um ring agenda thank you so much for watching i'm curious to see if how you're coming along with this whole 2023 um setup process as you can see i'm still definitely um trying to figure things out um, maybe um, you have you feel that this is a great idea to use these here I'm really excited about implementing these immediately for work so maybe that'll give you some ideas as well as to not at least have a replica I don't know um, for me I think that was another issue with weeks that I had the same um, you know replica of the monthly view in my personal rings and weeks at least this brings that's what I like about rings they're so flexible I was able to find an insert that would not um, be an exact replica and I wouldn't have to, like I said, or um, use those icons and whatnot. Instead, I can just literally make a list. This is be, this is like the simplest thing ever. Um, so I felt like this was right up my alley because at work, I don't want a lot of fuzz. I just want something, like I said, very streamlined. Have a great day or evening. Thank you so much for watching and I am looking forward to any of your comments or any questions. And also you can check out any of these items that I'm showing here, if you want to see some pictures uh, or up close or even in my um, stories, I share a lot about what I'm doing in my stories with my whole planning um, stack or my planning um, tools. 
And that you can find me over at Instagram at Dr. Underscore Alva Plans. Thank you so much. Have a good one.